really, we've uh, just spoke a little bit off camera there. A very entertaining game of football. Might have give you a few scares at times, but what did you make of the 90 minutes of a whole one? A uh, big test. I thought it was a great game. Uh, as I said, I nearly had a heart attack, don't get me wrong, but it was um, the first 15, 16 minutes we had total control. We dominated the ball, we moved around brilliantly. And then I think you've got to be too easy for them, which you can't treat these teams like this. You've got to, you've got to treat every team with the seven leagues below you, one league below you. You've got to treat them with the respect they deserve. And I think the lads thought they could just go out and stroll the ball around. Uh, they had three chances, they scored three goals. They could have scored the, fourth, off the fourth one as well, which went past the post. Um, and, and they, they got what they deserved. Um, you know, what I said to them at half time is, you know, I'll give them a bit of a rollicking. I told them that that's not a leap out of the team or a team which we've created in terms of, you know, with the camping and the togetherness. Um, I had to bring people off. People were struggling with injuries, people were filling in, but I'll tell you one thing, second half, there was only one team who was going to win that game. I think we missed the penalty, scored three goals, Lucas missed an open goal. Um, how many times with the crossbar, come over. So, listen, it's a great game and credit to um, them for hosting us because they're a good team, they work hard, and that's where you get the Scousers. The Scousers will give you everything they've got. Um, and they're, all, they're, they're a good team, good team, and it's a disappointing part of it, but it's pre season. It's, it's, it's what I want to do, but the character to turn around was unbelievable. I was going to say the character, the heart, the determination to get back into the game after what was dreadful end to the first half as you mentioned because the first 15 minutes were great what what did you make of the comeback because that's what you work for as a manager can imagine uh, unless you no but listen the, the reaction when i asked for my half time was everything i've recruited that reaction was everything i need to know about my players we shouldn't have to go three goals down to find it we should treat every team with respect and, and listen they did treat them with respect but i just think the second half that is non-league football you know we went a little bit like the direct we played three up front in the, in the second half I just think we overpowered them. We bring John on, we had Andy on, we had Cole up there. Uh, Luca come on was fantastic. Uh, we picked all the second balls up. Uh, first half, I didn't see that. First half, I seen them sort of. Uh, they, they, did, they took their chances well. They'd done well there. They had rotations from the full backs coming in, which caused us some problems. Um, but as I said, they, they, you see, they're a well coached team, so fair play to them. Uh, obviously, the tests are ramping up thick and, uh, thick and fast as the season edges nearer. Uh, you must be very excited to play these bigger teams now and test your side a little bit more. I've got 100 percent I, I want us to beat Chester. I want us to beat um, Chorley. I want us to beat Oldham if we play Oldham. Every game I want to win, I want to win. We still haven't lost, which is a massive, massive uh, mentality at this football club. Um, listen, Chester are going to be a good team. Any team with Burn and John Owen, if you think they work hard today, Burn and John are teams are very good, but also they can play football as well. So. Let's have a go and see. I'm, I don't fear anyone. As I said, I respect every manager. I treat him with their respect until they disrespect myself or my team. And, and we'll have a good go. And, you know, today is a real good ground. It remind me when we went camping. That camping, I said at half time to him, you know, don't play for me. Play for the story you, you mentioned at the camping. Play for the people that, you know, if it's money, play for your family, play for your son, play for your daughter, play for your, the people who, uh, who are no longer here. And, and it come through, and, it, and you know that's a massive, massive testament to the lads. Uh, it was it's a, a very special day, uh, although very short notice for a, a few. But we finally got the chance to welcome some fans back in, and you see in the twenty odd just behind the goal and dotted around the ground. How great is it to have fans back in? There? It's unbelievable, and you know you got the banter with them. You know they're, they're heckling your weight team, your weight the home team are heckling the you know the bench, and it's fantastic. Football without fans is nothing. It, it generates atmosphere. It generates. Uh, an extra five ten percent of times, you know, you're willing them on and fair play to them. You know, we know we travel well with fans. Um, it was a good game. It was a little bit tasty at times as well, which is good. It means people care in the right way. I think the referee done really well. Um, it's a good game. Good day, as I say. I'm buzzing for the fans. Match hopefully now. Next home game, we get three hundred fans in it. And we go again, and they can see what we're about.